friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's YouTube channel. I appreciate you coming by and visiting with me today, hanging out while I am crafting. And I hope you have a project that you can work on, whether it's crocheting, diamond painting, coloring, whatever, laundry, maybe you're washing dishes, whatever. I just hope that you have something that you're working on and it brings you joy. Um... You might have seen a video in the past of my doll, Mickey. Her name is Mickey D. And I had got her this outfit. And so there was a whole video on her opening her and getting her dressed. And um, I had put some red tennis shoes on her. Some uh, high top red tennis shoes. Uh, I don't have one in here with me. But anyway, you couldn't really see that the shoe was red. Because the pants covered them up. All you could see was the white part of the sneaker. So I didn't want to alter those shoes. Because um, all my shoes are kind of, you know, they're shared by the dolls who those shoes will fit. So I didn't want to alter the shoes because they weren't just for her. But I had ordered a um, some Ken shoes or shoes for my Ken dolls from aliexpress and they they came in like i ordered these like probably a year ago and they were way too big for ken and i i could put them on him and put some putty in the feet and he could wear them but i just never put them on him because um just the opportunity hasn't come up so i thought i would paint those shoes use putty on the feet because they are going to be really big but i want some shoes that's going to poke out you know like come out a ways so that you can see she has on red shoes just normal shoes to fit her would not work she needs some extra shoes okay because she is all extra and i just wanted to change those shoes up so what i'm going to do today is I am going to paint these shoes. You see how large that shoe is? I mean, it is long as my thumb. <laughs> but I think once I paint the shoe, and then I'm going to put putty on the bottom of her foot. It's like some um, wax putty type stuff that they use in like um sometimes people use it in doll houses to secure things so they don't fall over and stuff anyway i'm gonna put that on here and then push that on the bottom of her foot so it's good and stuck it'll still be removable but that'll hold it on so it doesn't fall off and then she'll have some big red shoes so that's what i'm doing today i'm painting and just enjoying life okay <laughs> I'm shaking up my paint. So first off, I'm going to paint these white. I'm going to put a good coat of white paint on them. And the reason why I'm going white first is because if I was to just go red, the red wouldn't show up as bright. The white would kind of dull it. I mean, the brown would kind of dull it. So by painting it white... And then we have a white um, background to put that red on. It'll just uh, make that red pop and be brighter. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Tell me what you guys are up to today. What are you working on? What kind of project? You know, and it's probably not crochet. That's okay. I like to work on a lot of different projects and things that just keep me um, motivated, keeps me um, doing something, gives me something to do because as, you know, my, as my health declines, I have to find new things to do because I can't always do the things that I've been doing. Although this part will be under the pants, I'm still going to go ahead and give that a little paint on there. 
and I'm probably going to end up painting the sole black, but I don't think I need to put a white coat on it because black will show up. I'm not sure if I want to paint that cuff around that or not. I may just leave that because it will not show for sure. But the tip, I do want red. <laughs> Anyway, so as my health has changed and declines and things happen to me, um, I have to find new ways to have, you know, enjoyment and have things to do. Otherwise, you know, I would just not have anything to do and I'd be miserable. And I am um, a crafty person. I've always enjoyed crafts and creating. I used to paint all the time i used to paint on canvas and used to do art shows and things like that but as you know as my um as i was having fingers amputated due to raynaud's and scleroderma i have uh, had to find new things to do so i found crochet after i had several fingers amputated and um started playing with the yarn i started out loom knitting first and then um then i learned to crochet in 2019 late 2019 i started crocheting and so um I, i've been doing that and then i've had more and more finger amputations and i am struggling with crocheting right now it's um just been a little hard for me i'm I'm still doing it but it is I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that but it has been hard it's been a struggle let's say that and so i'm, I'm just finding other things to you know do and enjoy now i am an adult doll collector i collect dolls And the dolls bring me just some enjoyment. They give me um, something to focus on and something to do. Besides, think about how much pain I'm in. Think about, you know, instead of thinking about all that pain, it just gives me something for to keep my mind busy. So, they are good therapy. Oh, my finger is stuck. <laughs> they, the dolls are a good therapy for me. And I hope that if you are dealing with a chronic illness, that you have something that brings you joy and gives you something to focus on. So you're not just thinking about, um, you know, your pain or your medical issues or, you know, doctor visits. Sometimes that gets so overwhelming. So um, it's good to have a hobby. <clears throat> that just um breaks that breaks up your um thoughts you know um i can't get my words out <laughs> it gives you something to focus on besides your health it is bad enough and people who don't have chronic illnesses and are generally healthy people they probably don't understand but that's okay it's not our job to make them understand but it is our job to um, find something to for ourselves, you know, so that we uh, are, you know, have some enjoyment in our life. There it is. I'm still trying to get. <laughs> get this last little piece here all right so i'm gonna let those dry um when when i'm putting a white coat on it basically i'm just putting a coat to cover up the brown but also to give the new paint something you know good to stick to so i'm going to wash out my paintbrush i'm gonna get any excess white because i don't really need it um 
I don't need thick white on there. I just need a little white. But it gives, um, you know, covers up that brown. And it also will give the red something to stick to. So next up, I'm going to put a coat of red on there. And I'm just using um, Craft Smart Basic Colors. This is bright red. And this is white. And I also brought a black in here. Because I may end up doing the sole of the shoe in black. Probably what I'll do last. And then I have some acrylic sealer that I will lightly spray this side of the shoe and then the other side of the shoe. Just something to kind of seal that and help keep the paint on there. But also, um, so it doesn't get scratched up and stuff. And also, to give them a little shine. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. I gave these white, these shoes, um, a coat of white paint. And I've gave them plenty of time to dry. So, that white is really dry on there. And now, I'm going to give a coat of red paint. Let me shake it up. Hmm. Well, you know what? I have a bowl here that I had a little snacky in, and it has some crumbs in it, but it don't matter. <coughs> Let me see if I can find a pepper towel. Here, I have a napkin right here. Let me just wipe this out. Hmm. One second. Just trying to get my paint bottle open. Well, I'll get it. There, I think I did I loosen it up. Sometimes this happens. There we go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of red paint right here in this bowl. Don't need a whole lot. But I'll probably give these a coat of red paint and then probably let it dry and give another coat of red paint. Because I do want the red to be good and solid. So I'm just putting like a thin coat. I hope these do turn out bright red to create the look for Mickey shoes. We are having um, nice weather today. Tomorrow we're supposed to have storms. So, we need to be prepared for that. And by the time this video actually airs, <laughs> those storms will be gone and over with. But for today, I am thinking about, do I need to do anything for the storms coming up? Um, I mean, I plan on staying home. During that time, thankfully, I don't have anywhere to go. I am going to come back and paint the bottom black. Alright, that is my first coat of red paint on there. Let that dry, and then I'll put a second coat on it. And hopefully that's all it would need. After that, then I'll just 
the bottom and then sprayed the sealer on there after I've completed the whole shoe. Anyway, I'm glad I had these and remembered that I had them so I could, you know, create some shoes for Mickey. Mickey D in her outfit. I just love that outfit. Alright, let me see if I can yeah, turn it so I can paint this other side. doesn't take long. The longest part of this is letting it dry. So I did turn on the fan, my ceiling fan, so you might hear a little knock, knock, knock. Yeah, that. <laughs> That's my ceiling fan. But I will hit a, the denoiser um, on this video when I'm editing it, so maybe it'll edit some of that out. But I had to turn the fan on to help the shoes dry. Alright, so there we go with the first red coat. And I'm just going to let those sit there. And dry. And then put a second coat of red on there. I'm being careful not to touch stuff to get red on everything. <laughs> Back when I used to paint... I used to have paint everywhere, like all on my desk, my clothes, I, everything I owned had paint on it. And since I have been painting recently, like I painted that alligator and that dinosaur, I do have some paint on my desk. <laughs> but anyway, I can't wait to get this whole look together. So I will be back to put another second coat of paint on the shoes. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to put a second coat of the red paint on these shoes. And I hope they will end up shiny looking once they are sprayed and put together because that looked pretty flat. So I hope they will look better once they're all done. But right now, the second coat will help a lot. I think it needs a little more right through here. Alright, so I have to use the paintbrush to get my finger out. <laughs> now I gotta smear that out. <laughs> oh, I hope you're all having a good day. I have just been playing around today, just doing stuff that, you know, I enjoy. And we all need days like that where we just take a day for ourselves and do things that bring us joy. So, my day's been good. And I definitely needed this distraction from everything else. Alright, let me see. I think I got just enough paint in here. Okay, now again, I gotta hold it down with the paintbrush to get it off my finger. <laughs> Alright, so, I don't know, I'll let that dry and then I'll decide if it needs a third coat of red or if it's ready for spray. 
and I probably won't record the spraying part because I'll need to do that outside and I'll need um you know to I wouldn't be able to hold my camera and do the spray because I'm going to be holding the can and then doing the spray with this finger so I wouldn't be able to hold the camera also <laughs> we have to improvise and use things however how we can I forgot that before I spray the shoe, I need to put a coat of black on the sole of the shoe. So I'm just going to paint the sole of the shoe, try not to go up on the sides. Trying to be careful not to get too far up on the side, but yet cover the sole pretty good. And so, hold on a minute. Okay. So let's see. Oops. I think that's fine because I, oh, I don't think we'll see, be seeing the sole of the shoe that much in photos. Maybe if she's sitting down. I think that's pretty good so I'm just gonna lay this on its side and let that dry and then it doesn't have to be perfect it is for me it's not like I'm you know doing this for someone else if I was doing it for someone else, I would try to, you know, get it best that I could, which I'm trying to do a good job, even for myself, but I'm not stressing over it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, I'm going to lay that on its side and let that dry. And then I'll be spraying them. I'll do, I'll spray the top of the shoes, you know, the red. And then after that's good and dry, I'll probably lay them on their side and spray the bottom. But I think I'm done with the paint. So I can put those away and wash out my paintbrush. And hopefully when I see you again, Mickey will be wearing the shoes. Hopefully. 